here's a quick recap just to show you how I hook up the fresh air vent underneath. I bought this option with the stove. You don't have to if you don't want to. But for me, I wanted to be pulling fresh air up into the stove. So underneath I just took a PVC pipe and some galvanized steel with uh, a ring connection on there. And then drilled a hole outside with a vent on it just so bugs and birds and stuff don't come in. And that's how that's hooked up. So that's before I put all the cupboards in that in. So then you'll see on the next one here, right there, that's it's actually hidden quite nicely in behind that the bench piece that I put in. And then with the countertop on, it's finished quite nicely. And here's the hole I cut in the roof as per the specifications of the Cubic Mini. Here's the chimney with all the components that come with it, all sealed up with high temp silicone. And here's the underneath portion that I finished, of course. That is an option, the fresh air vent. And here's your Cubic Mini. So the door handle is on the right. The inside air toggle is right underneath that. And then on the very bottom is the outside air to control the amount of air that comes in from outside. So when I went to burn this, of course, I opened up the inside air and outside air all the way because I want it nice and hot to burn off all those chemicals. So I have wood in here that's uh, probably three inches wide max probably and I cut them all to length three, four, five inches at max and then I started off the fire this way here. There it is. Let's get out of here, let it burn, and we'll check it in about an hour. Okay, so we're at about four hours. It hasn't stopped. I actually lit man candle, a mandel, just to take off a little bit of the smell in the air. There's a slight chemical kind of smell in here so I cracked the windows and just been burning 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 but hardly gone through any wood at all probably added 20 pieces maybe 12 to 20 anyway it's full bore though as hot as it can be burning as fast as it can and this is warm but not too bad warm but not too bad It's actually super radiating hot itself, but everything, like the, all the covering, everything that makes it deflect, reflect, is working awesome. Yeah, I can't touch all that, it's no problem. It's pretty hot up here. I might actually do a piece of uh, 
galvanized sheet metal on here. Not sure yet. It's not terrible. Like, it's hot, but that's it.